Hi there, this is Sean. Uh, I've had a couple people that have asked me how I did my cloning effect for my Washing the Hands movie, so I thought I'd go ahead and throw, slap together a little demo about how I did that. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some program that's able to make masked layers. Uh, I'm using Adobe After Effects. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones out there. Second thing, you're obviously going to need your footage. Here's my footage here. Slap that right in. And I'll bring it down to my my timeline area right here. I'm going to bring down two because as you can see here I have action on one side over here and then I repeat that action on that side and that's what allows me to work together so I need both video clips for that. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take a frame of this right here. You save it as a Photoshop layer. I already have one saved so I'll just go ahead and use that. And this is going to ask, act as a masking layer. You can see if I leave this on, obviously no action happens. Okay, now the second thing I want to do is I want to link these two videos up to where I actually start. Obviously, people don't want to see me setting down the tripod and stuff like that. So that's right about where I start. So I'll just leave it there. Now I'm going to click on this... Uh, layer 1 PSD, which is our mask layer. Now we don't want this tripod in the screen, so I'm going to mask that out using my pen tool. And we just mask that all the way out. And we can fine tune it a little bit. Obviously the more fine tune you have this, the better and better it's going to look and easier some of your later on steps are going to be. Now if we turn that on, all except for that top part, our uh, tripod disappears. There we go. Our next step is we obviously want this Sean to be act acting with the other Sean over here. I'm going to make one more mass layer. I'm going to select my second video. I'll just make this. This is going to be a pretty big sloppy mass layer, but that's okay. Go down to my mask, and I'm going to say I want to subtract. So it's going to subtract that area from this film, which will allow me to see this area here. You know, so I'll move it along. Hey, there I am. We'll get it to the start of my action here. Now the key here is that you just want to sync up your action. So here's this Sean here going along, steps up, hey, you want a drink? And I hand the bottle out there. Now I want this Sean to be lined up with that as well. So I take it and I move it along until it gets to that point. Now pretty much from this point forward, you're just fine tuning your mass layer. You're coming in here with your masking tools. animating stuff a little bit. Um, in After Effects, you can use this to change the mask shape. Go forward a couple frames. And you just keep animating. Just keep getting things so they uh, line up with each other. I only have a couple more minutes left, so I'm going to quickly go to my final here. So here's my final. I've done the mask layers. As you can see, my tripod is gone. A little bit of animation on the tripod. My second mass layer here, you'll see some animation happening here. You'll just see those parts move around as I do the handoff there. Now, having interaction with cloning is a great thing. I think the other thing that cloning allows you to do is you can get action onto the scene. You can have, I could have an explosion happen right here, have myself react to it, and uh, have this person react to it. There's lots of different ways that you can use masking and cloning. Um, one way I kind of like doing is with uh, on-screen transitions of getting things to happen. So this is a, kind of a Star Trek effect. Fade in and start to move around. 
Now, one of the big things that you want to watch out for on cloning is just your light source. Um, I did this outside. It was a little. It was kind of a very calm, cloudy, overcast day. Uh, so there the, wasn't a lot of fluctuations in light. If you're doing it inside, just make sure you have things pretty well lit or else you'll end up getting kind of some weird shadows. Uh, obviously, if I was inside my tripod, which is right here, might be casting a shadow. On a bright, sunny day, it might be casting a shadow. So you just have to be aware of stuff like that. So now the only next step you need to do is add a little bit of sound, gloss it up a little bit, and uh, add into your movie. Well. That's pretty much it. Last 30 seconds or so will be uh, the final project. I'll add a little bit of sound and whatnot to it. And uh, happy cloning.